What's going on, everyone? I hope you are having an awesome day, or at least at least an okay day. Sometimes that's all we can ask for, right? Just an okay day. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys some BS. It has to do with, as the title indicates, how free we really are. Um, at one, and it's kind of like the onion. There's different layers of an onion, and some layers we're completely free and in other layers we're definitely not and i would like to get into the physical reality called earth in this year of, uh well this being this video is being recorded in 2017 um particularly particularly the united states of america uh it's that's where i've uh, grown up and lived so i'm talking about my experience in this reality here so anyway it's bull bull crap it is total bull crap when it comes to some of these laws, the prison system, the judicial system, there's so much corruption. It's Now look, there's far worse out there. I get it. I get that. Yeah, there's far worse. But I'm just talking about on an island, not, not a literal island, but on an island, metaphorically speaking, looking at the prisons, the laws, how Americans, excuse me, just burped. John, you don't tell us you burped. So anyway, as I was saying, there's some BS going on here. Some, oh, watch out, 666. If I ever do a hand gesture, trust me, it's not on purpose. It's just me just doing my thing. Anyway, I'm not real focused today, am I? There is some serious BS going on with the laws. I would like to read a list for you. This is a list of things American citizens have been locked up in a goddamn cage, prison, jail, have been locked up. Actually, prison. have No jail or prison. But anyway, I'm going to read a list of things Americans have done and have been locked in a freaking, freaking cage in jail for doing. Selling flowers. Lying to the government. Smoking weed. Fishing. Putting an old washing machine in your front yard. Growing veggies in your front lawn. On the property you actually own. Actually, you don't own it. Property tax. You don't ever own land. Speeding in a car. Cursing in public. Playing your music too loudly. Rollerblading. Parking too far from the curb. Yeah, someone actually got locked in a jail cell for parking their car too far from the curb. That was the only thing they did, and, you know, like default warrant and all that stuff. But, anyway. Missing three, di three days of high school in a four-week period. A 17-year-old missed three days of school in four weeks and spent some time behind bars because of it. Uh, your dog gets out of your yard. An expired registration license plate on your car. Okay. Now, when I was originally going to do this video, I I thought, now I, I, I just use my feelings. You know, I don't, I don't like script how I'm going to come across. Uh, I don't, um, once in a while, when I have a, if there's some videos, yeah, I'm going to have information written down a, a little bit, like this one, as a guide, like a list or something. But generally speaking, it's 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 just off the cuff type of thing. I have a, uh, a like a, a concept idea or something, and I and I just I just I just start explaining or expressing feelings and thoughts. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is this is uh, me uh, uh, as usual being authentic and real with you guys and I'm not gonna lie to you or deceive you I'm not gonna ex am I, I'm not even going to exaggerate on purpose uh, if I exaggerate it was not on purpose it's you know like human memory is um, not perfect I think anyone who's been involved in Mandela effect knows that so but what I was trying to say is I thought I was gonna get real fired up uh, but I'm kind of just even keeled right now when it comes to this because um, sometimes I will get fired up about certain things um and even though I, I i disagree with with a lot of the the laws um in our society it's important we do have some laws eventually we won't need them but at this point in our 
time, we do need some laws, but some of them are so ridiculous. I would like to end this video uh, by naming two things American citizens have done, two separate instances, where they got locked up for life. Life in prison. Life in prison, no parole, based on how the laws are written. Um, siphoning fuel from somebody's car, stealing a little gas. The other one was stealing a jacket worth $159. Life in prison. Um, three strikes and you're out. That kind of a dr draconian uh, um, BS. Yeah. Um, am I saying that, you know, and I'm sure there's going to be different, lots of opinions about this topic. There's going to be those out there who will say, yeah, you break the law, you face the man. Justice, consequences, etc. There's going to be those who, or more like me, where the whole uh, uh, um, prison system is nauseating. It's corrupt. It's evil. It's wrong. Again, I agree. The way society is now, we do need some type of corrections system. But the way it's is the way it is now, it might there might be much worse um, prison environments out there in the world than in America. But it's awful. Overall, it is awful. Awful. So, um, I feel like I have, um, I feel like I have not expressed thoroughly why I feel it's awful, but I just, it's, it's not coming to me right now. So I'll probably have a follow-up video or more follow-up videos on, on these topics, uh, with regards to the judicial system, the legal system, the courts and the jails, etc. but yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch base and and uh, and just say that there are some there are some important laws and there's a whole bunch of freaking stupid ones.